Welcome to ZeroToProTraining.com Presented by Hassan Mir This is Ajax Training Series Our topic today is Introduction to Ajax Please take the videos in the sequence to maintain the right flow of the topics Let's start with the meaning of the word Ajax Ajax stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML What is Ajax? It is not a name of a programming language. But it is a new way to use existing standards. You can consider Ajax as the art of exchanging data with a server and updating parts of a web page without refreshing the whole page. Ajax was made popular by Google Suggest in 2005. Google Suggest application from Google uses Ajax to create a very dynamic web interface. When you start typing in the search box, a JavaScript sends your type characters off to a server. The server returns a list of suggestions that are displayed to the screen while you are doing the typing. Ajax allows web pages to exchange small amounts of data with the server behind the scenes. This means that it is possible to update parts of a web page without reloading the whole page. Let's take an example of a classic web page that does not use Ajax. Let's say there this page is opened in the browser. There is a section on the web page that you wish to refresh with up-to-date information. This page must be reloaded entirely to display up-to-date information in this section. All other sections will be refreshed as well as a result. Now let's say you have a web page built using Ajax. And you are in the same situation where you wish to refresh just one section on this page. Using Ajax, only this particular section will be refreshed while all other components of the web page remain as they were. Ajax is about updating parts of a web page without reloading the whole page. Ajax is a technique used for creating fast and dynamic web pages. Examples of applications using Ajax are Google Maps, Gmail, YouTube, and Facebook tabs. Ajax is based on existing internet standards and uses a combination of XML HTTP request object, JavaScript, and document object model, known as DOM, cascading style sheets, known as CSS, extensible markup language, known as XML. These standards have been used by programmers for several years. You do not have to write separate Ajax application for different browsers and platforms. Ajax applications are browser and platform independent. Learning Ajax demands understanding of following concepts, HTML and XHTML. Cascading style sheets, known as CSS. JavaScript and document object model, known as DOM.